Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to Life is Strange True Colors. Now, I'm super excited to jump into this new world of Life is Strange. New character with new powers and just a new story that I can talk to you all about in the comments. Before I do that, though, I just want to say thank you to Square Enix for sponsoring this video, giving me a free code so I can record this game and play it for you all. They always have my back with stuff. Like, they gave me Life is Strange 2 code, and they also gave me a code to another Square Enix game a long time ago. But yeah, shout out to Square Enix for taking care of your boy. We are going to jump into Life Life is Strange True Colors, and the thing that they said about this game is that the choices actually do matter, and they reward exploration, so I'm gonna make sure we take our time with this. If you guys want me to make Life is Strange True Colors a full series, 50,000 likes on this video, and we are gonna do the whole thing, because this is the complete game. Like, it has all the chapters already, so if you guys want me to do the whole thing, make sure you guys leave a like on this video, and comment that you want some more Life is Strange True Colors, but no more talking, we're just gonna jump right into it. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready! You buckle up, cause here we go! Life is Strange True Colors is a story-based game that features player choice, your actions, and decisions. Damn, every time! I swear that just popped up. I swear. So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have? We have. Well, we have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. Gabe, hey, shout out it Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Why are the animations so smooth? Smooth like butter. I like it. Like the eyes, the way they were moving. I don't know. I was feeling just like the emotions. Life is strange, true colors. All right. So here we go. Choices do matter. I'm going to stretch uh, because I got to do a lot of exploring. Oh, right there. Oh, back spasm. Back spasm. I'm not even trying to be funny. I mean, that's not even funny anyway, but I got a back spasm. Chapter one, side A. Hey, shout out to all my side A's. Anyway, that was my one dad joke of today's video. Let's do this. We're in Haven Springs, Colorado. This place looks all right. It's not as good as Devil Summers, Colorado. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry I'm like this. It is what it is. No, it says, is what it Gabe is. said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Does the bag say is what it is? I thought it was it is what it is. Not is what it is. Maybe I'm missing something. This is freaking pretty. I live in California and we don't see things like this. This looks like one of those Harry Potter Slytherin type shits. Use the mouse to move the camera. That's what I'm doing. It's beautiful. I heard that the air up there in Colorado is different. Like you'll be out of breath in no time. Like, you'll just be walking and you'll just be like... <gasps> that actually hurt my throat. Yeah, that is nice, like I just said. Press space to leave the zen moment. Do I want to? Oh shit, there's some deers? Some deers with some fat Alex. asses. Hey, gay! My guy! Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> oh, what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Hug or handshake? Ooh, I don't know. I mean, that's the bro. You gotta hug him. I'm cool this with action the hug will have if you are. <laughs> I mean, I'll take oh, the consequences. Oh, crushing my ribs still part of the protocol. I just want to hug my bro. <laughs> Sheesh. It's just so good to see you again. 
I can't believe you're here. Believe it. What the? She's all grown up. And I missed it. So... I'm a lot taller, huh? She can yeah. read minds? Yeah. Time will do that to you. Bro, that is a dope power. Are you power. ready to see the town? Let's do it. I'm nervous. Let's do it. Come on. Oh yeah, let's Confidence rock and roll. is in check on deck. I don't know why I said let's that. Go. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. So I'm assuming that okay, Alex the, knows uh, she has Black Lantern powers. is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey. Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Laith, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. <laughs> oh. Why are you hugging me? You don't even know we me like so that. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. He did? Talking that shit? Gabe always was a little shit talker, wasn't he? She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, Eleanor's yeah, no a little shit. too touchy. A little too touchy. Haven Drugs? Welcome I want Haven, Haven Drugs. I mean, this is cool. It's not my cup of tea. But hey, you know what? Shout out to all the trees in the middle of malls. That's a deer, right? Or is that a goat? That's a goat. It's a little throat goat. The silver dragoon. Or dragon. The silver dragon. I can't read. Damn. Brown bear diner. I would go to a place like this, like on a vacation. Just kind of like it's mix nice. it up a little bit. Come on. Cleanse my palate. You know, when you is live in California, you see a lot of stop things. On the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> I like this guy, Gabe, so far. I like both of them. Hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? The alternative to truthing Not is lying, right? lying. More like strategic half-truthing. Like Bull I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They can oh, smell that bullshit a mile away. Puppies. I've been trying to warn her. Oh, okay. yeah? What would you do? There's no such thing as saving too many puppies. I would be clever. What would you guys do? Be honest? I would be clever. I would be clever. Telling the truth only gets you so far. Seriously. Oh, you hear that, Gabe? Like, if you're gonna apply for a college, you I'll gotta be clever. Surrender. That's what she's doing, I'll right? come around eventually. Alex, help me out real quick. All right, I got you. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite. But I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. Really? What do you think? What did you do? Sunflowers, Lily of the Valley. I need some context, Gabe. What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around? Maybe the toilet seat? Ah, <laughs> give her the sunflowers. If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. Yeah! Uh, shut up, Gabe. You aren't thinking that. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. Read her mind. Read her ready. mind. Sounds good. Can somebody read somebody's mind? Might as well have a look around before we leave. Yeah, like I said, this game really rewards exploration. I think the more that Alex knows, the more ammo she has for future events. 
mandatory for any enchanted garden. Okay. Is that really mandatory? I'm never going to buy that in my damn life. Does I promise anyone you. actually sit in the decorative store chair? I don't know. I feel like I'm going to catch something. Some chair crabs. How to Kill Everything You Touch. A flower book by Alex Chen. Unlocking the flowers of the earth. The perfect flower bed. Making the magic garden real. Am I really going to read this shit? Bro, am I really going to read this horse manure? I don't know. Maybe just look at it just to see the, the authors. Maybell Richardson. Okay, thank you, Maybell Richardson, for absolutely nothing. Let's check the greeting cards. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. I've seen that one. That's on aisle four. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Facts. This gnome has been places. That gnome gets laid with a shirt like that and sunglasses that cool? The tiny house movement is really taking off. Is it? Maybe in Colorado, Haven Springs. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. I hope so too. I think Aww, she will. I wonder who they are. Some old Cute, people right? that are probably dead. Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Okay. Hold right click when the circle displays to see the emotions attached to the character. So we can read minds. Bro, this is dope. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. What if I don't get in? Okay. So Shit. she's just gonna say the same thing. What if I do that get is in? so cool. That Am is I such really an elite ready to power leave to this have. Place? Fuck. I wish I could read people's minds. You would never have to worry about having a conversation with anybody for the rest of your life if you could read people's minds. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, I think that we're good. Right, Gabe? Gaby? Gaby Wavy? Hopefully she likes the sunflowers. All right, I'm taking off now. Ready. Sunflowers are bomb, Thanks. Though. See you soon, Rai. <laughs> Lily of the Valley reminds me of my mom. That was kind of her nickname. Because that's her name. Lily. Anyway, no more talking about my mom. Let's talk about this How guy in the ladder. How Charlotte been dating? My guy in the ladder. Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. Can I read his mind? She's worth it. Yeah. Yep, I bet. Um, Let Watch me see warning. Windy. My feet are fine. I just don't want you to fall. You need stable feet with ladder work. Let me see if I can read this guy's mind. Hey, don't get snippy with me, pal. I'm just saying my Uncle Albert fell off a ladder once when he was repainting his roof. Beautiful mahogany color. You should have seen it. Anyway, broke his whole arm. The whole thing. Sounds awful. It was. He couldn't feed himself for a month. Oh, yeah? he use his other arm? Well, I know a guy who couldn't feed himself for What's two months. That, no. How about that? Warning. Wow. Good to know. What does wow. it say? Good Automated to know. Automated blasting to take place Sunday, April 28th. That's my birthday! What the fuck? Blasting going on? Man, I'm the only one going to be doing any blasting on April 28th. 9 p.m. Warning sirens will sound prior to detonation in areas within blast. Well, I'm about to so blast your mom on April stuff 28th. just explodes around here every now and then. Goat Sometimes yoga. You can feel it all the way down here. I've actually heard of goat Dance. yoga. Like you lay on the ground and then goats walk on you wow. and take a piss on your Just... forehead and shit on your back. Wow. I've heard about that. Uh, what the shit is goat yoga? What the shit is goat yoga? Yoga. With goats. Welcome right. to Colorado. Oh, I can read Gabe's mind. Let's see. Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. And step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk to him. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. Gabe Chen. Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. That's pretty rude. 
He should introduce her now. Because she is here right now. It's going to be longer than a minute. Trust me. What oh. the hell do you know, kid? Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? <laughs> She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. Spoiler alert, kid! Vanishing, my kind of power. I prefer the Fire Ring. No, I like to vanish, too. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. I love her voice. It's so soothing. You can soothing. get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. Uh... If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I Damn, I don't to really give it. a shit, but show me. Oh, God. This is going to be cringe. It's going to suck, isn't it? Oh, God, I'm going to have to lie! You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. Thanor? This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. What the shit is a Thanor? Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know mines? they exist. Mine, mine, mine. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean... I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. Same. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. I'm gonna read this kid's mind. I'm gonna read the oh, hell out man. of this kid's mind. I shouldn't have told you that. No, it's cool. Promise you'll be careful. Choices matter, people. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry. Really. I don't even know you, so maybe I should worry. I, I don't know what you're capable check out of. That record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. Wait, aren't the bombs gonna go off on April 28th, aka my birthday? So rude. This place is so rude. They'd rather detonate bombs than celebrate my birthday. I'm never going to Haven Springs. Oh wow. This is where she's gonna work. Oh, no, no, no. This is a record store. She's going to work at a bar. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except... This time, I'm buying the record. No way. Fortnite dances. Corn sandwich. She did not like that. She did not like that choice at all. I know that look of disappointment. I've seen it many times. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Hey, my name's Alex. All right. Put some respect on it. What are you talking about, some chick? Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... Forever. I'm Ryan. Ryan, you look like Chris Evans. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Still deciding. Cool so far. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still deciding. 
I don't know if it's cool Considering yet. Considering I've been here kind of for stinks like here. a minute. It smells I'd like bear say shit. say I'm undecided. Fair enough. I guess undecided <laughs> is better than running away screaming. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? He's robbing the place! You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah. Well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Great! Wow, that's... That's what they do here in Haven Springs, huh? That's different. That's nerdy! I'm not gonna just say that's nerdy to a guy I don't even know. That's so rude. I'm gonna say it's different. You different, bro. Not what I was expecting at all. You just build different. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. Whoa. <laughs> So, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure. Put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. <sighs> Damn. I know I saw it before. Wanna help me look? Sure. Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No um, idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Okay, so hold shift to move Alex faster. Yeah, like I said, shout out to Square Enix again for giving me a free code so I could record this game for you all. Steph's touch and die. Well, I'd rather die. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, when you tell me not to do something, it's I'm been like, so hey, long since I've played. Do, I'm gonna call your bluff. You tell me not to Even touch the drum kit. I about cutting demos. I'm gonna play all some heavy metal case. type shit, you know? Never. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. Hmm. I'm a fan of those balls that smack around. You guys, I don't even know why I said that. Like, the balls that, that smack like. One smacks like four balls, and then the other one smacks the other. Then it comes back. You all know what I'm talking about. Come on, get your Gabe's minds up. Gabe's record better. is in here, but which one is it? Wait, can I read his mind? Bro, I want to read your mind so hard. I can't read your mind. There's nothing to read. He seems cool, for a tree cop. Ooh, tree cop. I could have sworn she said it down over here. Let's see. Don't let's get see, me wrong. See. Steph's great, but she can be kind of a mess. So is my life. Huh. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. Yeah, she definitely played Fortnite in her day. She getting those moves down. I love that this town has their own radio station. Doesn't every town have a radio station? Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> so, 331, pull a sweet prank on Diane. 45, mop. 48, stock new arrivals. 410, bulletin board. 412, mop. 417 Alliance Order Due, 419 Mop, 420 Spring Fest Decorations, 426 Mop. You know your life is boring as shit when you have a day for mopping. Like, come the fuck on. Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. I do like that name, Valkyrie. I like a lot of E names. Valkyrie, Wait. Valerie. Um, is that the hold list? V v v v v v v I can't think of any more names. Staff picks! Oh no. Where's the list? Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. How very small town. Family portraits and other commission art. Okay, nobody's gonna be missing. This isn't the first Life is Strange. Apparently, plants can feel pain. But can they cry sing all of melancholy and the infinite sadness in bed? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Now there's a radio contest I might actually be able to win. Did you all know that I think there was like a scientific study that you really have to talk nicely to plants for them to grow nicely? And if you're mean to them, like if you say to the plant, you're a bitch, like you're a big green bitch, this then it'll die. This just the right amount of dorkiness. Like if you think I'm bullshitting, look it up. Emergency guitar. 
In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. Right? Should we scare it or move? Don't I think it's out. behind the thing or just underneath the thing. Gonna... Okay, oh, just shit. Kidding. Here, kitty, kitty. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing All right. Is, You're going to get scared. She's sitting on the hold list. I'm going to scare you. We could use her toy to lure her away if we can find it. Give me a hand. What, to find it? Okay, let me help you. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? Banjo, dubstep, acapella, screamo. I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. AKA my commentary. Dear God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. What do cats like? I've never had a cat in my life. Metal box, maybe? Looks Just like gonna a look toy in there, live here. Even though it's none of my business. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. Damn is right. Well, can I ask if I can look in this drawer, por favor? Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. It could be you shutting up and helping you me find the cat the toy. essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Okay, well, let's keep that treasure buried because I'm just Nothing. trying to find the cat toy. Uh, shelf? Shelves are meant for holding things. Is that Deadpool? Right? Junk box! It's got to be Maybe in there. Maybe in the junk box. 99%. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> <laughs> Be safe just out throw there. It at its face. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Lure. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? I like the animations in this one. All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Yeah, all right. I've seen better. Gabe Chen, Tiny Blue Bot, Steph, Narrow, whatever. Okay, cool. Should have known. We have a phone? Cool. I'm going to check that later. Maybe we got some texts. Wait. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? Dork. Badass. Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, which at the time I thought was... Awesome. And he, he somehow doing cocaine. managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. Damn. The legend only grows. Gabe's a All legend? Right. You're looking at 20 even. But you don't even work here, though. Just let me walk on out of here. Oh, damn. Girl's no. on fire. No way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I put into this? Is she evil? You just... No, dude. I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> whoa. Whoa, 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 Alex. What's happening? It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the boost if... You gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? You have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls. Why though. does she have a red aura? Is she I'll evil? be there. One sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. 
So yeah, I'm assuming that she's bad. Are you okay? Never better. I'm great, thanks. Just, did she say organizing a LARP? <laughs> yep. Beyond DJing, Steph's also queen of the Haven nerds. Sounds like there's some unrest in the kingdom. Gabe, my bro. Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. So the sunflowers worked? Hey. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? You! Yeah. Talking about birds? Just checking out the place? Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. I told you, the sunflowers... Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. Awesome, Pete. I'm not surprised you like it. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. Cool. <laughs> and this dude hands me the best beers? Gabe just gave you the best compliment? <laughs> that's all you got? Get out of here. By the way, Mac was in here earlier and... <laughs> Steph uh, texted me on the phone. He really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. What's going down? Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. I wonder why Alex was feeling that type of way when that lady was on the phone and she had that red aura going on. Did she feel like the negativity in that conversation or something? Because when she was just trying to read minds, everything was fine and dandy. But then when the girl was mad, she started tapping her foot when the girl was tapping her foot. I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. Let me check my phone first before we get into anything. And then maybe I'll talk to that kid. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. Thanor. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Atta boy. Yo, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> what is that, a subscription service? We trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted yeah, she, me to keep really secret. sweet, huh, Gabe? Should I? Or should I blow his cover? Oh, fuck. Oh, this is a real big boy choice, huh? It's the real big boy toys, ah! Do I tell Gabe or do I keep Ethan's secret? I don't even know Ethan like that. I feel like something might happen to Ethan if he goes in the mine because we saw what was gonna happen. Like on that flyer, April 28th, hey, the boom boom room, you know? Ba boom, that type shit. So if I tell Gabe, maybe it'll keep Ethan away from something scary at the mine. So I think I'm gonna tell Gabe. Let me know what you all thought about in the comments. If you think I made the right choice. Uh, I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Yeah, we don't even know Ethan Earlier like that. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking, he mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> this fucking kid. Whoa, whoa, family friendly, I'm Gabe. i tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. Really? Oops. We'll see. I appreciate you telling me. You, you did the right thing. Just say you found out from an anonymous source, please. What do you say we get you settled For the love in? of God. Do not snitch on me. Do not snitch on the snitcher. Or else I'm just not going to have a good rep in this town. And that's the one thing that I can't do is have a bad rep in this town, okay? I got to be the coolest son of a gun in this place. So, look at this. Look at this town. This I got to be the coolest person here. Like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Yep. Exactly. 
What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. What about vibranium? Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Wait, is today April 28th? Sounds like it. Hey, everybody, wish Look me a happy this. birthday. Jed. It's my birthday hey, in this got game. got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His bossy means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Good to meet you too, oh? Santa Claus. Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit. You know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. <laughs> you? Just about? Same! Look! Look at the dark spot right here in my pants! I was pants. excited to see him too. Guess we're an almost wet yourself kind of family. <laughs> Gotta have the bros back. I like her. Dang yeah, gang. she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. Oh, you're Did he the tell you about the Eleanor. festival yet? Not hey, in detail. Hey. I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Joke's on you. I don't even know what loquacious oh, means. Before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. That so old I've bug. Heard. Yeah. So, just, you know, eyes open. That old bug. Anyway, you guys can I've heard of those bugs. Alex, pleasure. Those asshole oh, bugs? They just crawl right up in your ass. Feisty little so, shits. Spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. How do you all feel about this game so far? I'm actually liking the fact that her powers have to do with being able to go into people's minds. And I'm not just saying that just to say it. Not bullshit thing. <laughs> Telling you the truth. Alice can read my mind right now. She knows that I'm truthing right now. But yeah, well, I think we're going to do our first shift at the Black Lantern. It's going to be cool being able to read customers' minds. If that's a thing that we can do. Because what if somebody comes in? That becomes like a big character. We got to read their mind. We got to read their mind! Wait, this is where we live? I live in this shithole? Shit, man. I mean, it's not bad. This is actually cool. I take it back. This is actually cool. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. Best you could do? <laughs> Come on. It's really nice. Hey, if I was somebody around her age, I'm assuming that she's like a senior in high school about to go to college. I would think this is dope as hell. Like, I would bring some friends here, maybe play some foosball, maybe, uh, I don't know, sit on that carpet right there and look at that sculpture. Uh, this place kind of does suck, but it is really nice. When it is you what it said is. that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Thanks. Seriously, this is great. No privacy, though. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. That's actually cool. That's actually freaking cool. I love it. Gabe, I love it. That's actually amazing Good. if that's for I one person. I don't know what to say. Shit. And there's an arcade say, machine? Thank you. Or maybe you're the best. Thank you, you're the best. Or I'm definitely naming my first and third born children Gabriel or Gabriella? <laughs> sure thing. Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? You're still you. Didn't expect the beard. Now nah, the beard looks good. You're still you. You haven't really changed. Really? You Does still look about 15? my beard, though. Like, shut up. I mean, obviously you're like a man, dude. <laughs> but you still have the same facial expressions and stuff. You're still you. That's a good thing, right? Thanks. Didn't Which is that. good, because... 
if you weren't still you, I'd have to give your gift to someone else. Wait, what? I like the dynamic between these two. It's charming. Ta-da! Surprise. Wait, is this... This is the album I requested. I know. I'm good. I was going to get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. Sweet. Kings of Leon? What does that sound familiar? Oh, by the way, I muted the music, so it's going to be awkward just like... <laughs> so yeah, all the music is just... <laughs> yeah! I can't get over this. Feels just like old times. You know, that whole copyright thing. Oh, no. Blame YouTube, not me. Stop that. You stop that. I can't. It's too late. <laughs> oh, the music's still going. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> Go get him, tiger. <laughs> oh, boy. I was like, what's happening? He was oh, yeah. Like... Go get him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lifetime of practice. <laughs> wow. Please. Please stop. What is that? Is this part of the song? Your turn. That's all you. Here's how it's done, I guess. Fine. With no music. Oh, dude. Oh, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is it gonna be like this every time? We still hear them walking on the floor and shit and jumping around, but no music. Oh, fuck me, suck me, dude. Oh god, this is awesome. You haven't lost a beat. <laughs> this is already game of the year just for this. The fact that we can turn off the copyrighted music. Holy crap. Who's that? He's like, hey, stop awkwardly dancing in silence. Just give me a sec. Yeah. Hey, you man. look like a school bully. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what oh. you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Whoa! Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass ah! right now. No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. It's not like what's happening. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking oh, to you. Oh, shit. Stay. Stay. The fuck. The fuck. Whoa. Away from her. Away from him. Oh, bitch. Oh. What's good? Yeah, beat his ass. Beat his bitch ass. Oh. Oh. One time. Put on with Alex, stop! Oh. Oh. Shit! Gabe, I didn't. She's a savage. It's okay. Holy crap! What in the world? Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> Fucking psycho! You could both go fuck yourselves. You were the one being I'm an so asshole. Sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm still trying to figure out what her powers are. 
Does she get like some superhuman adrenaline rush when somebody's acting a fool? Fuck! <sighs> she said the exact same things as Mac that Mac said to Gabe. Wait, but she took it out on him. It's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Okay, Great. I'm still trying to figure out what it is. It's not reading minds. That's not what she does. But I mean, she can read minds, but that's not what her powers are. She's obviously getting some kind of strength from people's emotions and just uh, like the way people are acting. Like if somebody's in a good mood, she's in a good mood. If somebody's worried, I think she's worried. If somebody's mad, they're mad. Or she's mad that they're mad. I'm okay. I'm really liking Alex so far. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so happy this game's out. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to go on this journey with I'm you all. Okay. The full game is out, everybody. Like this video up if you want to see the next part. I'm okay. You're okay. You okay? Alex, you okay? I'm okay. Thanks for asking. But are you okay? She's all right, everybody. She told me. I, I said it in my mind, and then she read it. And then I that's guess all, I might as well you know. unpack. Okay. Let's unpack our bag. Oh, I gotta check my phone, too. I keep forgetting that I have a phone. Let's see what we got in the pack, though. Well, let's check the phone. Leith? Leth Flowers? Calling volunteers to help with this year's spring festival. The sign-up sheet is on the east side of Leth Flowers. Swing by to see what roles are still needed of a volunteer. Let's put together another great festival. Jed said, The Black Lantern will be providing beers as always. Aaron James said, The only reason I go! Charlotte Harmon said, This sword is coming along! Leaf Flowers said, I can't wait to display it. And then Leaf Flowers again said, A special thanks to Diane at Typhon Mining, who has coordinated Typhon's sponsorship of this year's festival. Diane said, It was our pleasure. Let's make sure this one is one to remember. Alright, that's enough. That's enough, right? Oh, wait, I'm Mike Lawler. I'm going to to believe this isn't about me. Enough with all the transplants moving here. I don't care if it's good for the economy. I miss Haven the way it used to be. Max said it'd be fine if any of them knew how to drive, especially in the snow or at night. Say, Mike, if I remember right, you yourself came out here from Jersey just a couple years ago. Mike said, yeah, and look how downhill everything's gone since then. Steph Gringrich said, owned, self, Gabe. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. Gabe said, free drinks tonight at the Black Lantern to celebrate my sister's arrival. woo Jed said, what the hell is wrong with you, kid? There most certainly are not. Ryan said, too late. It's already been posted on the internet. Yeah. Can confirm. Alex is great. Thank you, Riley. Yeah, Riley's awesome, dude. Typhon Mining said, reminder to all Haven residents that Typhon Mining will be setting off charges tonight at 9 p.m. See, I knew I should have told Gabe that Ethan was going in the mine. Sometimes it pays off to be a little snitch. What? The latest issue of Legendary Monster Hunter Thanor is finished? Steph said, way to go. How many can I have for the store? Charlotte said, I'll take him in to get copies made this weekend. Steph said, yes. <laughs> okay, cool. I think we're good. Yeah, I'm good. There's way too much. Wait, Ducky? Who the duck is Ducky? Hand super glued to Daxidermy Animal. Shut up, bro. All right, let's go. Let's unpack our bag. Let's escape. And unpack the bag. Freaking ducky, man. Oh, God. Shoo Shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. I don't care. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented. Huh. I never heard back from Sydney. Oh. I hope she's okay. Okay, let's read this, everybody. Hey, Alex, what's up? You still at Helping Hands? Just so you know, I'm going to delete my accounts and lay low for a while. I hooked up with this asshole a couple times for a place to stay, and now he's harassing me. Also, I'm leaving Burnside. The supervisor's a racist and keep accusing me of dealing. 
I'll hit you up if I find a new situation. Honestly, I'm running out of options, but you know me. I'll get creative. Anyway, hope you're good. Is Lauren still there? Remember, when you effed her up, miss your dumbass. XL Sydney. Okay, the next one says... At least she cared. More than I can say for most. Dear Alex, I wouldn't blame you if you threw this letter out before even opening it. If you're reading this, thank you for giving me a chance to apologize. I wasn't ready. I wasn't cut out for being a foster parent. The stress, the arguments, the shouting, it was too much for me, especially at my age. I should have known better. I'm sorry if I made things worse for you. Good luck out there. Sincerely, Missed August. I really wish those meds had worked. So she got um, adopted by Miss August, but I guess she couldn't handle it. Abigail Lynn, MD, patient name Alex Chan, Alprozolam, ER, six milligrams. Chelsea, the rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Dear Alex, happy birthday. Here's hoping you're having an absolutely fabulous day and that you don't have to deal with a single shitty thing from sun up to sundown. Real talk though, I wanted to thank you for all the things you've done for me since we met. I felt safe and happy and even loved when you're around. Pretty unusual for people like us, right? Anyway, thank you for being you, for being my friend, for the way you beat Harley's ass, for letting me wear all your clothes even when I don't ask. I don't want to sound like a loser, but you're basically the only good thing in here. Love, Chelsea. It's a very sweet letter. I like that. Let's look inside the drawer. He already has a folder Alex. on Alex. Do I want to know? Yes. Do it. This is the dark side. Guess I kinda gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Yep. 119, 2019, Oregon Department of Human Services, Child Welfare Offices, Multunama County, Loretta Vance. Okay. Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Hey Gabe, Eduardo and I were very happy to hear from you. We are glad to see you are doing so well after all these years. Colorado is very far away. Sadly, it was difficult to keep talking with Alex after she was taken into the system and we don't know where she lives now. Here's a phone number for the agency. Maybe they can help. Oregon Child Protective Services. Line only available third Wednesday of month. Try Human Services. Child Welfare. We wish you best luck in finding her. So he couldn't find her for a while. Wow. No wonder it took eight years to he get in touch. He's been looking for me for a while. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he was trying to just find all these different Chens and Alex's. And I guess he finally found her. Okay, that's cool. Let's see Riley's letter. When right click when the aura icon displays to see the emotions attached to the object. Which one? Oh, that one. Oh, that letter's on fire. Right, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? Right. A high school dropout? A guy who went to a fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my God, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. Oh. My camera died. I'm back, everybody. Did you miss so me? Mac was reading Riley's text. Boyfriend of the year. Seriously. Colorado Institute of Technology. Miss Leith, your application for CIT's 2019 summer programming launch pad has been reviewed, and we are pleased to inform you that you have been selected to move forward to the interview stage. Someone from admissions will be in touch in the next several days to schedule your interview. Congratulations and good luck. Gabe, what's happening? Please, please, please help me prep Riley. Some people just want to help people out. Doesn't mean they have expectations or something, you know? You can offer help without being rewarded. It's just called being a good person. What do we do here? Oh. Okay, so we can get a little drippy. Okay, okay. Which one's the best one? I don't know. I guess the bear one. Whatever. Let's look at this photo. No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Only kind of an asshole? He looks like a full-blown asshole. Let's look at Shushu. We've seen things, haven't we, Shushu? We see some shit. Hey, we see some shit. Oh, I can't see the emotions attached to Sushu or Shushu. Medals. What an honor 
to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Second place? Gabe, that means you're the first loser. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she That's was sick. an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I Wait, could never you make an artist, something like, so professionally, though? personal. Let me see. Emotions? 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 No, there's no emotions attached to that? I like this power. Table for Hamana. Gabe, brushing up on comics and art. Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. At least I held it together in front of him and Steph. So we have the friend to thank for Gabe going on the right path? Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? It's pretty cool. It's pretty damn cool. I'm gonna act like it's not cool. So, have we checked everything out? Well, we didn't see anything over here. Ethan's comic, we already seen that. Crack? Yo, crack I is wet! I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. Oh, that kind of crack. Greetings from Mexico. Okay. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Gabe, got your letter yesterday. I'm doing just fine. If you ever need a reset, come down this way because holy smokes, the food is great and the drinks are even better. I'll never get tired of hearing how great things are going for you. Some days I think about our first meeting at the detention center. Sure, you told me to F off three times, but I'd never seen anyone listen so intently to every word I said. I knew right then that you'd outplay the hand you were dealt. Point is, you were the best kid I ever mentored. Don't forget it. Let me know how it goes with Alex. Hope you can find her. Love, Len. What's this? Mine haunt. Okay. How did he get this up here? Should we check it out? Might as well. Okay, so Gabe and Ethan played this. And who's SPH? Interesting. Are there any emotions attached to any of these items? No. Oh, wait. There is. But it looks like Mr. John Chen left San Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. Have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no. Hey, don't. <sighs> so he kicked the wall out of frustration. Got it. Nothing here. That's it. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. What's so special about that bike? Looks like you're a run-of-the-mill bike. Are we good? Oh, unpack. Forgot. <laughs> I forgot I still got to unpack. My bad, everybody. I got lost in the splorn. Crazy how much we've changed. So she ripped out the part with the mom and dad, so she don't fuck with them like that. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. I'm definitely going to be reading the hell out of this. We got to know some of the backstory with this power. Oh, shit. There's a lot. This is a lot. Tessa, anger, bitter and jealous and a little queasy. That's what the anger tasted like. Didn't even have time to step back. Seconds later, I was rushing across the room. What a mess. I split her lip open, poor thing. I wonder how long it'll take to heal. It's hard to clean blood off your clothes. Makes you feel wrong. I don't really blame her for being upset. She thinks I get special treatment at the home, but I don't. Doesn't matter now. She keeps to herself. Most of the other kids do, actually. So that'll be business as usual until a new group comes in and this starts all over again. The worst part? They confiscated my freaking guitar. Two week ban. At least I get it back. I promise, I promise, it's not what you say. No favors, no secrets, none coming my way. And after all this, you still had to pay. Imagine if I got copyrighted for that. Isabel, anguish. I tried to write this so many times and they all ended up in the trash. Let's see how far I can get. I really liked Isabel. She was sweet and loved to paint and smuggled in a few beers for us on weekends. But her depression was brutal. It crept under my fingernails and made my eyelids feel like stone and I had to focus just to keep breathing. Like dipping your rib cage in lead. So yeah, she can feel everybody's emotions. It was hard to get away from. Eventually it got too much. Two bottles of sedatives lying in vomit. Her eyes open and glossy and afraid. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, Isabel. I thought we could have stayed friends when we finally got out of this vanilla-flavored holding pen. I wish you could have stuck around for a little longer. If I ever see you again, I'll bring the beer. That is sad. 
Mac, anger. It all started with a knock. I think I felt something off before Gabe even opened the door. Like something was slipping under the frame. Something red. Something raw. Then there's Mac. And that familiar feeling of dread that always comes when I know I'm losing control. And no matter how hard I fight it, it just keeps coming until my blood is a running boil. Then the part where my whole body has already made the choice to hurt someone. And it's going to happen. And no one can make me stop. Mac's anger felt hot and dizzy. And also a little afraid. Really. It was all about Riley. So she put red, then rage, then relief, and then circled it. The thought of her with someone else. The thought of her with anyone else. It was under his skin, burning. That feeling like hot cords grinding around behind your ribs. It's one of the most exhausting feelings in the world. It's such a relief when it's over. When your ears stop ringing and your heart slows down from humming to lazy jackhammer. It's such a relief. Too bad it cost Gabe a punch in the mouth. How do you apologize for something like that? These threads that bind us up, they burn and weave. Inside my ribs, they hurt until you leave. Do I have anything else to unpack? I'll finish this later. Okay. Thanks, Alex. Sleepy time? No. Snoopy time. Oh, nice! Cool. And we punched him in the face. No fucking way. <laughs> Alex, here's a little something to say. Welcome home. Can't wait to hear you shred. If this is copyrighted music, then that means no music is going to play when she's doing this. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. You did it for so, your brother. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling like I'm ready to rock! Oh, it is copyrighted. I wanna go whoa, 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 whoa. I wanna go whoa. Shout out Square Enix again. Game here is too full good game. to be true. The game of the full game. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. Okay. Time to be on our good side, Alex. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Let's do it. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, it looks pretty nasty right about here. Uh. <laughs> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? Put some ice on it. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. <sighs> I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Falling. <laughs> falling pretty damn hard. Yeah? Yeah, I just I mean, punched my brother in I the guess. face. So. But it's amazing to be here. Yikes, this is awkward. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. Did he find out that I snitched? Cooler than Gabe? He's a great kid. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. <laughs> By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. No yeah, no problem. I'm Haven Springs, at newest me. snitch. You did the right thing. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Beef Jed, pie. You have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping disgusting. dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the Spring Festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. 
Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah. Same. Same. Same, same, same. Bye. Thanks for supper. Yep. Oh, shit. Do we go over and apologize? Oh, boy. I don't think so. Well, I'm going to if the opportunity comes. And I'm also going to talk to her. But maybe I have to make a choice, huh? Like who I want to so spend I'm my time with. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Go with Gabe's story, come clean. Just go with Gabe's story. Fake it till Maybe you make it. That's what they always that. say. But yeah, I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Well, sure. Okay. All right. So we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Okay. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can uh -oh. give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. Got it. All right. You all are it's about really to see your nice boy Jay you here, Alex. handle a shift Thanks. like this for the first time in his life. I've never worked at a place that had customers. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I used to work at a school, but the parents were all chill. But I never worked on a place with customers, so... Let's check on these people. Ducky and Diane, how you doing? Can I get you two anything? Miss Chen! Here at last to relieve our suspense. <laughs> Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third. I love Alex's ducky voice. To friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice Hi. to meet you. I didn't realize that uh, that we all knew you were coming. Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from DC six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? Kind of bizarre. Kind of perfect, not gonna lie. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people. And now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms. And my usual to drink. Jet will know what to do. All right, Hopefully I'll I don't have to remember that. Brain. Thanks. If I do, oh boy, it's a little fucky wucky. Oh, little fucky wucky with Ducky. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Oh my God. Okay, burger with mushrooms, I think. One burger with mushrooms. Uh huh, and? Pie special with fries. One pie special with fries. Right? And Jed. Did he ask for his usual? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a I personal a bottle I was for have him. To remember. Okay. Let me. Oh, unlock that's my odd. Memory banks in my brain. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. I'll do it, especially if I messed oh, up the order. If you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. Okay. All right, okay, okay, all right. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Should I ask him? Ducky? Jed thinks you took your whiskey up to Gabe's yesterday. Do you know where you might have left it? 
I remember absolutely nothing of the night. <laughs> you got hammered. <laughs> really? Maybe check your phone. Did you take any pictures? Call anyone? <clears throat> Have a look. People are so nice letting me look through their phones. Okay. For goodness sake. How do I access the photos on this thing? Um, please. Nice. Oh, jeez, please. Poor Ducky. Please let that be, be the most this. explicit photo you have on here. How do I check? Shit! Sorry, nothing useful. Well, thanks for letting me know. Sorry, I didn't actually get to look. My, My bad, bro. My dad was in the service. Okay, let me see. Oh, hey. Someone made a course about my life. <laughs> Finding gratitude in the midst of chaos. Funny, Alex. Real funny. Wait. <gasps> oh! Forgot about my powers! Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Oh. So she doesn't feel like it's at home. Not a bad New company. miner. Once you get used to how they Starting are. over from scratch like this? Right. Fucking terrifying yeah, what is what it is. You're telling me. You're telling me. Take some minutes on the ropes. Okay. Should I talk to him? My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. I guess I can't yeah, talk to him. I guess. Let me talk to her though. This lady that was all up in her feels. What? Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey, hey, what's going on, Steph? Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. Sure. What are you working on? Is that your shot? Who are you sitting with? What are you working on? Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no. It's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Uh, no, I don't. I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like oh. a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. I've heard it before, Costumes, but I didn't know what it stood weapons, for. weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe cool. was talking about a LARP with Ethan. I'm yeah, go to a it's LARP. next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm down. Would you ever want to join us sometime? Of course. I'd give it a try. Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super I would fun. do something like that awesome. in real life for the experience. Who are you sitting with? So are you um, here with somebody? Or? That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. Bastard. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he said- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. Well, I actually did want to know, but all right. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. We're definitely going to check that out. Interesting. I want to know what Jed did. Is that your shot? Why are you babysitting is it so hard? Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song. Guess wrong. You have to take the shot. Well, I muted all the music, so... <laughs> Ryan I'm gonna have to take all play. the shots and die. You wanna take his place? Let's see what happens. Dude, you're on. If all the music is yes. muted. God. <laughs> So, I'm gonna have to take a shot. I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. okay. Let's do it. We got this, everybody. Pay attention, because we can't drink. We gotta stay sober. Team sober. You gotta say, team sober. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. Okay. So I thought you were gonna ask me some questions. So, what do you wanna ask me? Ichitiosis? Hmm. What the I hell is this? I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Uh, think of the children. Vic 
nasty blame the monkey brain? Huh? I'm confused. Okay, song title questions. Um, curse word? Four words or more? Yeah, four words or more. Does the song have a long title, like four words or more? Yes. Interesting. Oh, she picked the song. I gotta figure out which song she picked. Okay. Here, any curse words? So, does the song title does have damn a count curse, as a curse word, word in it? <laughs> a curse word? Would that offend you? Answer the question. <laughs> no curse words in the title, ma'am. Okay. Okay, it's not that. It might be this one. Cover art question. Let's see. People on cover? Are there people on the cover? No. Okay. Yeah, no. You've no? got two questions left. Okay. It might be this. It might be this. Let's see. Is the band name one word? Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word. Okay, hmm. it might be this. It might Last be this. Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. I think I got it. I think I got it, but all right, I'll ask it. Why do you like it? Why do you like this song? So, I guess we're breaking the yes or no questions only rule. Can you handle it? So, why do I like this song? The lyrics crack me up. Even the title's pretty goofy. Reminds me of fun times, I guess. It's this one. Goofy title, you say? Hmm. It's gotta be this one. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Yeah. Let me look through one last time. It's Here's this one. Know. It's not a one word band name. No curse Alex. words in the song title. It's Fusky and the Wags, song title Mildred is Cross, at least and the four Watermelon words Lost long. Brigade. No people on the cover. The title's kind of goofy. If it's Think not that, I will deep figure it the whole bottle of alcohol. We'll see. Come on. Is it that one? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. No, it's not. What? Sorry. How? All right. That's the Glitter goofiest name I've ever heard in my damn life. Fusky and Wags? It's not as bad as it looks. What does that even mean? <laughs> Screw this jukebox bullshit, bro. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'm going back to my job. How was it? Uh, fantastic. It's actually delicious. <laughs> You should try one. <laughs> hey, thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that I can help me find Ducky's prized all. whiskey. Oh, what the heck? Oh, why do you have a red aura? Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have I seen agree. Gabe go at it with Dad. Should we talk to what's his face? Mac? Big Mac? Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. But what if he does? Let's just see. Let's just slowly creep up and talk to Mac. I do want to apologize though. Idiot. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. At least he's, wow. I messed Mac up pretty good. Yeah. How mysterious. Amelia Rossum Goldstein. On this site, Amelia Goldstein operated a bed and breakfast for nine years, known for its beautiful rooftop garden. She died at the age of 32 of influenza. Though married shortly before her death, the identity of her husband remains a mystery. She was 32 when she died? Damn. Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. Seriously. Okay. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. That festival better be Liddy on my 19 titties. lives? Jed is a real hero. So for unflagging courage and outstanding devotion to duty in saving the 19 lives of his team in 2008. Anything got like some emotions behind it? No? What? Yeesh. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner. Okay. Wait. Oh, clean up. Holy shit. <laughs> Can I talk to you real quick? No way. 
What do you want? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Mainly you. That is bullshit. And you know it. I was defending Gabe from you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> you want me to lie? You're awful. Let's say you want me to lie? So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. Wow, four whole years? She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's what okay. Do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Don't even. What do I do? What do I do? What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? What do I do, everybody? We gotta have our bros back. Why do you we give We don't a even shit? know this guy. Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. And this Matt guy looks super toxic, and he is super toxic. <sighs> I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation, or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Oh, don't side eye me. Um. Not exactly sucker punched, but... You better tell the truth. He definitely started it. That's a lie. Oh, God. Were you there, too? That's a lie. Well, not the part that I was there. Call out Max bullshit. Avoid further trouble. Okay. Um, we really gotta think here. Because, yeah, the choices matter. Square Enix told me choices matter. Like I said, shout out to them again. Giving me the full game. God damn, thank you, Square Enix. So yeah, uh, are we gonna call out Max bullshit, or we're we gonna avoid further trouble? I mean, me in real life, I do not want to be in a situation like this, where I'm the person in the middle of two people's business. So I would want to avoid further trouble, but I'm Alex. And you know, we as Alex, we can't take any BS, and we gotta defend our brother. Because Gabe definitely did not start it, so I'm calling out Max bullshit. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Max's face? I beat his ass. I did that. Well, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. I feel like we did the Alex right thing. Chen? Uh... Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? What? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. Pike, come on! What about Mac? Am I under arrest? Are you saying I'm under arrest? Your face. <laughs> oh. You should oh, see Pike. your face. Oh, jeez. I'm about to give your girl a heart attack here, Pike. No, I'm only Pikey. kidding. No, nobody's in trouble here. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Gabe and I just like to prank each other. Oh. <laughs> Brings back memories to when I got arrested, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've Woo. never been pranked by a cop before. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely Cops should me. not be pranking people. Thanks for being a good sport. They're the one Can type of profession drink? that should not be pranking um, people. Maybe I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? What? How old is Alex supposed to be again? I don't think she should be drinking. I don't know how old she's supposed to be in this game. But I guess the, the limit here is spook patron. What are you spook for? Christ. She did that to that guy's face? It's steering clear. Aw. I'm already making friends. <laughs> right. Okay, we gotta ask Pike about Ducky's thingy, Majiggy. Okay. Pike, let me read your mind. Damn, was that prank out of line? Did I come on too strong? It was yeah. bold. I'll give you that. Yeah, copper. Hey, Alex. Ready for that drink? Ducky's whiskey. Were you hanging out with Ducky and Gabe last night? Who told? <laughs> so I told. Ducky apparently Don't lost snitch. his favorite whiskey. Me. <laughs> Possibly upstairs? Oh, no. You remember seeing him with it? Oh, when I left, he was still down here. Oh, but you know what? You should check Gabe's wall of shame. Might have some incriminating evidence. <laughs> okay, thanks. I will. Um, back to work. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. I don't think I'm ready for that drink yet. Not really ready for that drinky poo. I got to check out the wall of shame. This guy steering clear from me. This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. Yeah. Okay. So it is my birthday in this game. Yo, happy birthday to me. Oh my God, it's my birthday. Okay. All right. Now we got the bottle of whiskey. But it wasn't on the couch before. If it magically spawned there, I'm done, bro. I'm done. The couch. Search. It's in between the couch's butt cheeks, bro. Ha! Got him. All right, cool. So let's take that with us and let's complete our shift for today. That was a pretty easy shift. I might have to retire from YouTube and just be a full-time bartender Found us server. upstairs. In Gabe's couch? What a relief. Many thanks, Alex. Many welcomes, Ducky. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. He likes those fat shots. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. So I guess she is over 21. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. <sighs> Ugh. Okay, I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. Okay, let's do it. My dad was in the service. Oh, we already read her mind. Miss Chen. Oh. My dad was in the service. Okay, Jed. We did everything. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yes. I already cleaned the table. Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Hey, the boys are back in town. Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? Did a great job. We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Got it. Okay. I, I think that's enough for today. Holding. I don't know what kind of place you worked at before. But you got a ways to go. Huh? What do you mean? You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Jed, what does that mean? We'll see you tomorrow. Did I fuck up? Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. I think I effed up. I said I got a ways to go. It's my first day. It's my first time, I swear. Hey, people in Haven Springs are rough. It's a tough crowd up here in the mountains, boy.
what a view. What it do, what a view. You take somebody here on a first date, whew, guaranteed at least five more dates. That's party. How's your jaw? Still working? How's your jaw? Great. Is the pain bad? How are you going to say we need to talk and then don't talk to me? Make up your mind. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Oh, cool. Thanks. Hitting cooler? Did, did you rehearse that move? Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> well, so, that's where most of the rehearsing goes, right? Need a manager your for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? That I can kick your ass? That I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so watch it next time, no, Gabe. I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. I fought a lot. Didn't you go to Juvie? Didn't you go to Juvie? Isn't that like prison? Yeah. That was the hardest time in my life. Some days I... I didn't think I'd make it out. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Hmm. Tell him about your past. Tell him about your power. I was thinking that if this opportunity arised or arose or whatever, I was going to tell him about my power because this is fam, you know, the family is the best secret you can have with each other because family always has your back. I think hopefully. So I'm going to tell him about our power. I just want to see his reaction. There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened for a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. 
he wasn't just angry at you, he's angry at himself. He thinks he's gonna lose Riley. She could easily prove her powers with Gabe. Did Riley tell you that? All Gabe has to do is think about something very strongly and then she can feel it. No, I just feel it. No, no one told me that. Right? Am I right? I just Gabe could just feel strongly about something and then Alex can feel it. That's how you test it. Do it. Do it. You sure it's not just, you know? It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from Test it meds right now. Or, or stress. Else. Or trauma. I'm not going to do anything. Or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? Let's do it. Let's do it! Doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that? Why? It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Then feel strong emotions. Oh. Have those emotions lift some weights. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. <laughs> You're like going inside their heart. I love her voice. It's like so I calming. Yes, I am. Dude, you have superpowers. Yes, sir. <laughs> are you messing with me? More like a super curse. Getting beat up and having no friends? That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. I mean, that's, that's really special. Oh, we're in there. We in there. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. Aw. That's really sweet. I like that. I'm glad that we told them about the powers. <laughs> I'm really liking the characters in this game so far. I feel like since they have so, three games going on. When were you going to tell me, me about the thought. guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Hmm. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? No. He was heading home. He was, but... I haven't seen him in a while. Uh-oh. Did he go to the mine anyway? You don't think... I think. Maybe. Fuck, maybe he did. What I think it? there's a 99.9% the chance he did. If he actually did, we need to move. Now. Yeah, Let's because go. they're going to detonate that thing. Yeah, what I was going to say is, since this is the third Life is Strange game, they had two games, actually three, right? Because there was another part of Life is Strange 1, I think, if I remember correctly. It was the one about Chloe. Yeah, because I remember in the first one, some of the characters were kind of robotic. Like, it was kind of weird and kind of awkward. But this one, it just feels like the conversations flow naturally. And I think that's what I like about it. But yeah, today's the day that they detonate the bombs. Yo, what if the kid dies? Like, he gets blown up. Oh, that'd be crazy. I mean, I wouldn't want that to happen, Ethan? but that'd be crazy. Ethan! Oh 
Come on, pick up, pick up. What kind of phone was that? Alex. This way. since I was up here. Why don't you come here? How worried should we be? Should I be... I don't know. Freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> at least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? And the people are like, eh, hey, we're gonna Charlotte's blow it up anyway. Losing it right now. Kid's a kid. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from dad if we'd done anything like this? 40 lashes. Hey. We're gonna find him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. See? Of course. Making the right choices right off the bat, everybody. Once I'm gonna go Jay take a look this. around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. Okay. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Okay, should we finish this up? Like, should we finish up this mine thing or should we save it for another episode? You know what, everybody? I'm like really invested in this game right now. So I'm actually going to do this mine part. But I just want to say shout out to Square Enix again for sponsoring this video and just sending me a free copy so I can play it all for you. Link to the game will be in the description box below. So you guys can play it for yourself. You can have your own playthrough because maybe you saw a choice that cool. I chose that you would choose a yourself that I didn't choose. So yeah, let's continue. But yeah, link to the game will be in the description box below. Shout out to Square Enix again. Will we though? No trespassing. This area is the private property of Typhon Mining. Only authorized Typhon personnel are permitted. Violators will be prosecuted. What are you gonna do? Huh? <laughs> I sneezed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, everybody. Nope. 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 Super nope. Super nope. Even though there's audio, I always read subtitles. Even if I'm watching something on TV. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, baby. Whoa. That's creepy. How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? Hey, bro. Wanna get wasted at the old mine? <laughs> That's probably the most fun thing to do here. Pneumatic pig? You don't realize until you're up close. But mining equipment is super murdery. Okay. So you can see the emotions attached to certain objects. How the hell does that work? Oh, look. See? I got you. I got you. It's okay. You're okay. Oh, God. Oh, God, we're alive. Is that everybody? I need a head count. Oh, they both have emotions about it. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. Same. Alex warned me. I could have stopped this. I'm such a fucking fuck up. Gabe cares about Ethan so much. We have to find him. Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. We raise our drinks to Jed Lucan, who, at this location on December 30, 2008, pulled us out of hell. But I feel like Jed started this all just so he could be a hero. Minecarts. Probably not as fun to ride in as they look. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. Yeah, don't imagine that. What happened here? Massive cave in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, 
basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Huh. Maybe I'm right about Jed causing all this. Imagine. Oh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... So how did he get in? There's a side door on the Nothing right. obvious. Maybe we should... Near the minecarts. Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. Can't do any of that. Too bad nothing like this is in the comics. Um... Well, look. Look, the trail seems to end here unless... Hollow. Aha! He must have crawled through here. See? Okay. There's a hole that we can go through. Any luck? Been a minute since I tried to break a lock. Lost my edge. <laughs> what, what you told me before. If he were out here and like feeling something, could you use it to find him? Uh, he'd have to be feeling it like a lot. Like really strong. Like really, really Even strong? Then, like, I don't really know. strong. Guess it was worth a shot. Okay. Well, there. I think Thanor went a different way. Thanor! My guy, Thanor! Let's compare this. No, we can't. Can we compare the minecarts? I don't see Thanor riding around in any. Mm. Okay. He had to have gone. <gasps> Wait, is this it? Is this it? Is this it? Like around here? They were gonna set off charges tonight. Oh Thank my God birthday! Got them. Unless there's a dead guard in that barrel, I don't think this is right. Where the hell was he comparing this shit to? Come on, Jay. Think. You smart. You smart. You loyal. Compare. I don't see anything like this in the comic. Well then, fuck me silly. What am I gonna do? Wait, so... Did Ethan... Oh, man. Yeah, he went through a secret door. On the right. Yeah! I think there's like a side door back there? I don't know. I guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. It's nonfiction. Did you get your checks? No, I didn't. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Okay. Damn. I mean, we know he went in the watchtower. So, we don't have to do that much exploring. But we can try to figure Ethan out, like, the history of this place. Here. How did he get out? Let's check this out. Have I got some good news for you? Phone? I'm 100% sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other end. Well, let's figure it out. Anne? 
You okay? I'm sorry to call I'm you. Getting a work. lot of achievements. I just came home from the doctor. I couldn't wait for you to come home. Baby doll. I, I'm pregnant, Jed. What? During conversations, use space to swap between choices what? and objects. What does that mean? The red one, don't put this on me. Wait, 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 what? The red one. Go with red. It's always red. Where are you, Ryan? Okay. Kinda wanna push all the buttons. Also, kinda scared to push any of the buttons. If Ethan didn't get out through the door, how did he get out? This door? No. He had to have gone through the stairs, right? That's the only way. Because there's nothing over here. We gotta move those things. Those little boards. Right here. Come on. That's it. That's it. Hold on, wait. He... Can't find the secret entrance. So... How did he get up? Ethan must have gone upstairs. Yeah. Pretty sure Ethan climbed. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I was right. I mean, that is obvious. Okay. Let's do it. Up the stairs we go. Up the stairs we go. Check out the sign. We passed caution like an hour ago. I know, now we're at uh, 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 levels. Not in the comic. Okay, not going there anyway. I'm afraid of heights. I'm afraid of falling. Oh, Scoob. Run, row, Scoob. The silo. We're getting close. I think it up there. Holy shit. Conveyor belt. Reminds me of the snake thing in Ethan's comic. How the hell did Ethan get up there? That's the tricky part. And where's Gabe? Why is Gabe not doing anything? Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Do it. I think I'll find Do another it. way through. What's that wheel? Looks like, like Ethan climbed right the conveyor here. belt out to the silo. Heads up! You figured out the door. Yeah. Sure I did. Turns out you gotta open it. I mean, Who I knew? sure did. Why did I say sure I did? Okay. Warning poster. So this place was a death trap when it was operational too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's go, Ryan. Freaking what took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Is that right? Where to next, Alex? You just go up the stairs. You don't need a comic to figure that out. Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. We can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. We close? I think so. Ethan! 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 He was mauled by wolves. Is that one of the auras? Oh, there he is. Holy shit. That's a brave kid. I would never do that. Ethan! I won't even look at that. Alex! I'm scared! 
Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy. Wait. Hold on. How did that even happen? Ethan? You okay? Oh, no. Don't worry. We're going to get you out of here. Oh, no. Just hang on. I've seen too many movies like this. I know how it ends. Come on, man. Don't. Don't, 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 don't. His fear is so strong. If I get near it. She's going to get scared, too. It's no good. We're too heavy. She's not too heavy. Shit. What about me? Alex. Uh, are you sure? You get over there and then what? He still has to go back by himself? And then you plus the weight of him is going to make it even heavier, right? Remember how I taught you how okay, to anchor okay. a belay? That makes sense. Awesome. Show me. You okay? I'm okay. Yeah. Gotta be brave. Yeah, I'm alright. You gotta be the rock in this situation. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. Cool. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady, steady's fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Let's do this, Alex. We got this. Come on. Whew. Shit. This is pretty nerve-wracking, though. Just don't look down. Don't look down. I would get on all fours, and I would kind of just scoot all the way. I don't care if I get splinters either. in my ass. I'm coming. I'm looking down! That is a pretty this, damn Alex. far drop. If I did fall, you get hurt. Alex would still slam into the rocks. Not without you. Won't get hurt. I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me till we're both safe. You hear that, Ethan? You're stuck with me. We're stuck like conjoined twins. Thanks. Holy shit. Real close. Just a little further. Hey. Ethan, I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Shit. It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> okay. Let's get him to chill. Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid! Okay, hey, hey, focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. The log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Gabe is our anchor. I've got really good bounce. Gabe is our anchor. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't He's matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. How can I look into his thoughts? We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. Come on, let me see. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Yes. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. OK. 
Okay. Let's I feel what he's feeling. I can do this. Oh, it's like a beast or something. I brought all this brought stuff. All this None stuff. of it will None save me. I'm not just feeling what Ethan feels. I'm seeing the world like he sees it. I'm warning would it be afraid, but he's just a story. This is real. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid Look how to the left she is on that log. Oh it looks like a big old monster. It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. <laughs> this is so freaking crazy. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. We got this. But Ethan. Come on. We're safe. You know why? That thing can't see us. It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing? Just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, no, some no, stories are true, deal, son. like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. You gotta Don't get this down, kid okay? connected to the rope. We'll be done before you know it. Oh, this is crazy. Keep tight on the blanket. What about you, Ryan? Not over yet. Hold some rope too. Oh god. Look up, look okay. up, look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. Look up, look up. Look up. Right here. Right here. Okay. Slowly. Alex? Yeah. Very, very slowly. I'm still really scared. Nothing to be scared of. There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? Shit. Man, you shouldn't be just walking like Do this. Do you think the log will break? I can't go any faster than this, everybody. It's stable. Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break. Ah, Our never. Are connected. I need to keep him calm. Okay, come on. Come on. What are you doing? I'm keeping him calm. We are going so freaking slow. Don't look down. Eat them. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Are you cool? Because I'm cool. You're not as cool as me, but you gotta be cool, okay? Ethan. Eyes up, Ethan. Come on. We're almost there. Look. We're almost there. I could throw you across. I could throw you like a football right now. Don't make me do it. I'll do it, Ethan. Don't look down. Don't look down. Oh, shit. It really isn't stable. there. Look how close we are. Like, two feet. Speaking of two feet, move That's yours. It. Come on. There you go. I got you. Perfect. Good job.
That's crazy, though. Good job, Alex. Good job, Alex. We're all proud of you. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is pretty funny, huh? Good job. Uh-oh. I thought they were gonna hold off. They're gonna make it explode for my birthday? Bro, they're gonna make it explode for my birthday. Oh, shit. Time, too. Okay. Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> Holy crap! Bro got headshot from the rock. No! What the fuck? Oh my god! Why would you do that? Holy crap! No! Oh my god! Dude, I did not expect that. I expected a lot of things in this episode. I did not expect that. Oh my good god! There's no way. Could I have saved him? Alex told Gabe about Ethan's plans. No, no, no. We got to talk about that. Hey, our bro, like, he was the bro. He was actually a really cool character. There's no way he's dead. There's no way he's dead. Let me get through this. Alex told Gabe about Ethan's plans. Okay, 58% of people did that. 42% of people kept Ethan's plans to herself. Alex told Riley the truth about the fight. 67% of people did that. Okay, cool. Alex told Gabe about her power. I mean, 7 out of 10 people did that. That's what I'm talking about. Alex hugged Gabe on the bridge. Man, 8 people, you got no soul. 8% of people got no soul. So we advised Riley to show off in her interview. Only 25% of people did that? Hey, my bad. Alex didn't interact with the gnome. <laughs> what? I didn't interact with the gnome? I thought I did. Alex didn't stop at the listening station. Oh, well, I muted all the music anyway. Alex told Ryan that Gabe was a badass. 53% of people did that. Alex rocked out with Gabe on the broom guitar. 89% of people did that. Alex found evidence of Gabe's search for her. 77% of people did that. Alex expressed pessimism about Haven to Charlotte. Oh. Alex went along with Gabe's story. 42% of people did that. Alex told Jed she's never been a server. Yikes. Maybe I should have just told the truth, huh? Alex told Gabe she loves the guitar. 93% of people did that. Jed figured out Alex has never been a server before. <laughs> oh my god, I suck. <laughs> Jed was not impressed with Alex's performance as a server, and Jed was impressed. 85% of people were impressed. Wow, I suck as a server. Steph beat Alex in the jukebox game. Okay, so it's pretty much even there. Riley broke up with Mac after the fight. That's good because that guy was a piece of shit anyway. Ducky was reunited with his favorite whiskey. Okay, so let's see the next chapter. Let's see the preview for the next chapter. Or is it not going to show me a preview? Chapter 2, Lanterns. Okay, I'm not going to start it. I thought it was going to give me a preview of Chapter 2. 50,000 likes on this video, and I will upload the next chapter as soon as possible. I'm loving this game so much so far. Loving everything about it. We got to figure out what happened to Gabe. I'm Hopefully, we can speak. find that out in the next episode. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.